one of Algonquin. Say hi, Ashley. Hi. Welcome, Ashley, to the uh, Canoe of the North channel. She's a founding member, but I don't think we've hardly seen her at all yet. So today, and for the next four or five days, we're going to be out on, uh, we're going to be in Algonquin Park. We're going to do the Big Trout Loop. It's one of Kevin Clan's top 50 paddling routes, and uh, it's super popular, and there's going to be lots of people here that weekend, or this weekend, but that's all right. We're just here to have fun, paddle around, see if we can't catch a few nice lake trout, and cook them up for dinner, and just get out and enjoy the outside. So, stay tuned. Like <laughs> Ashley, yeah. how was that portage? It was like being in downtown Toronto. Yeah. Trying to get on and off the subway. So. You enjoyed it? Oh, I loved it. You loved it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, eh? You're not going to get lost. You're not going to... You definitely won't get lost. No. So that was the portage from Canoe Lake to Joe Lake, which is probably the busiest portage in Algonquin Park. Maybe the busiest portage in any park in the world. It's just kind of like a stampede. So it feels it feels odd, but we you do it because you gotta get in here. So away we go. Now we're on Joe Lake. Good boy. Sit. Oh, nice. Lay down. Good boy. Staircase to heaven. We made it to one of the Joe Lakes. There's about 16 Joe Lakes here. We're not sure which one it is. Really? Yeah. No, I'm sure. I just can't remember if it's Lost Joe or Big Joe, Small Joe, Little Joe. There's a lot of Joes. We finally made it out of the. There's about 18 and a half Joe Lakes. We're finally through them. And we are on to the lake where we're going to camp tonight, which is called Burnt Island, right? Yep. Yeah, so we're going to Burnt Island. And we'll probably try and make it most of the way across. Uh, I think it's about 5k across, maybe. And that's just where we have to start tomorrow, just to make tomorrow a little bit lighter day. But it'll be nice to find a nice shaded campsite, because as much as this is really... Uh, about as easy a trip as you're going to get in Algonquin. When it's super hot like this, it just, it just kind of sucks all the energy right out of you. So here we go.
found our camp safe for the night. Hey, Yay. baby. Nice work, sweetheart. Thanks, baby. Hey. Me too. Good work, you. Killed it today out on the water, buddy. Hey, just crushing it. So we think we're going to set our tent up kind of on this grass. It's relatively flat. It's always nice to be on grass. And uh, yeah, decent spot. You know, it doesn't have that, you know, million dollar view, but it's got like what a. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Debatable, eh? <laughs> no, it's got like a. It's got about a $700,000 view, I'd say. And a nice, nice little fire pit. And uh, somebody's taken the time, or a bunch of people have taken the time to kind of assemble a little little cooking station up here so kind of cool not uh not too bad and uh yeah take a few minutes we'll get her get her tent set up here Beautiful end of the day. Yeah, you know, actually, it was uh, it was hot. It was so hot today. I honestly, when we got to camp, I didn't film very much because I I wasn't feeling that great. So, kind of laid down in the shade for a couple hours. I'm feeling pretty good now, and uh, we're gonna have to get up early tomorrow and get paddling because it's too hot. It's too hot to be to be doing that when it's you know 30 degrees and you got these rubber boots on which probably isn't the best right now but uh yeah let's see what tomorrow will bring yeah. How are you feeling this morning, baby? Um, pretty good. Yeah? A little bit of a headache. I don't think I drank enough water yesterday, but um, all in all, pretty good. I think it's going to be a nice day. Yeah. Probably be hot again, so make sure we stay hydrated. hydrated. But um, yeah, it's a beautiful morning. Couldn't ask for anything else. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so let's uh, let's talk about the route real quick here. Well, I got the map out. So we started. How easy it is to see there. We started to get the mosquito out of my ear here. So we started at Canoe Lake, which is super busy. That's the busiest portage in Algonquin. Uh, and then we came up through Joe, Little Joe, Lost Joe, Baby Joe. Um, and now we're coming across Burnt Island, and we are, uh, I can't say where we, uh, there. we're back in, we're back in here, back in here, um, so we got a few kilometers to go across Burnt Island, and then we're going to go up a little otter slide, otter slide, we got a, four or five portages up this creek here and then we'll camp somewhere on big trout so i think we have uh what do we got there maybe 15 15 k maybe 20 k by the time you backtrack on any um on any uh, portages so yeah we should be 20 k five five k an hour pretty easy so four hours maybe we'll be over on big trout and uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Nice technique.
that works. We made it to the Portage. So we got a nice little 790. I think the other maps is somewhere around 700 or something. So 7, 800 meter Portage over to Little Otter Slide Lake. And then it's a paddle through to Otter Slide Lake. So let's get this done. And uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're making our way there. Then we can maybe crush some lake trout. Hello. We've made it to Otter Slide Creek now, and uh, it's the first portage that takes you into what lake? Big Trout. Yeah. Yeah. Big Trout. So it's uh, 250 meters. We were kind of hoping that we could skip the portage or a couple portages, and maybe we can down the way, but there's a bit of a log jam here. And then I don't know if you can see, but there's a boulder garden in behind that. So we're a little yeah. bit disappointed, no but shortcuts. no shortcuts. That's right. So let's do this portage and we'll uh, we'll keep rolling to Big Trout. It's like riding a horse, eh, baby? Oh yeah, it's so smooth. It's like a cat hopping over there. Oh yeah. Good thing I just practice some yoga oh. yeah. right on a little bit of paint on some of these rocks Stay there, Hugh. Nice, baby. Right on. Nice. Whoa, Lou. Come here, sweetheart. Sit. <laughs> Sit, you squirrely little thing. We are getting there. We've got two more portages. I think one's maybe 700 meters in length, and then we've got another one that's around, uh, it's just a short one, 100, 100 meters. And so far, we haven't been able to skip any of them. That last one, we, we might have, but we just didn't want to waste time walking all the way around, so we didn't bother. And it is getting really hot out again. Um, you know, you don't want to complain about hot weather, but it's it's hot. It is really hot. Nice work, baby. And uh, yeah, so can't wait to get these two portages done and then get onto our lake and find a nice campsite and go for a swim. Because it is really hot to be paddling and portaging right now. Hey, Lou. And I don't know why Lou likes it on top of the barrels more than in the canoe. This is the new, uh, this is a new thing for Betty. Hey, what are you doing up there, silly? So what I'm witnessing right now is probably some of the finest bow paddling <laughs> in the history of bow paddling. Courtesy Ashley. Right, coming up here, I bet she's probably going to demonstrate a nice cut stroke. 
Oh yeah, big cut, big cut, baby. Nice. Oh, just crushing it. Perfect. Hit her hard. Right in the face. Oh, Ashley. Ashley. Lou, get down here. Come on. No, Betty, Lou. Hey, hey, hey. We lost him. Oh, yeah. Oh. Here we go. Where are you guys going? Huh? Okay, baby. Nice work, baby. Hop in. Oh yeah, she's gonna be one of the easiest routes we've ever done. Just a little like, a little warm up. Little warm up. Pretty well filled beat. I'm really glad though that at least we have two portages left and not just one. Right? Nice work, baby. Looks fairly choked up here. Mm -hmm. Hop in, baby. Oh, we're almost done here. Wow. What do we got? 109 meters left to make it to Big Trout Lake. I'm having a hard time even remembering the name, <laughs> the name of the lake right now. But it's been a, it's been a long day. It's been a slog. There's a ton of beaver dams on this river if you're gonna do this trip. And uh, it's fun. It just would it just be nice if it wasn't so hot out. Mm -hmm. We thought we left early enough that we would kind of beat most of the heat and be here already, but. We've had to just take a few breaks just to just cool off because it's just a scorcher today. And it's a creek, not a river. So yeah. There's like no, uh, I can't remember the word. What? Current. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's no, there's no current. There's no current. Yeah. Not, not it's hardly shallow, any. It's so it's hard to get yourself moving. Yeah. Keep bottoming out. And I'd imagine in low water that it would be a real slog, yeah. eh? Yeah. Doing, doing this in the height of summer would be really, really tough. Yeah, I yeah. would think it would. I would think that this creek would go down quite a bit. Yeah. So if you're planning this trip, I would say go early.
best one. Did I get you? Thank you. So the stove we use, or one of the uh, the stoves we used probably the most, and one we bring on almost every trip, is called the Little Bug Stove, and it's a Little Bug Senior. <clears throat> and this is it here, and it will boil a couple liters of water in no time, like faster than pretty much any any like maybe a jet boil might do it faster. Uh, but it's it's really fast and it takes you can feed big chunks of wood into it like you can put this this size i mean maybe that guy's a little big but this kind of stuff you can put in and it just kind of tucks in the side here like that and yeah it's it's fantastic uh can't recommend enough so tonight for dinner we're gonna have some pasta some macaroni noodles with the dehydrated uh, tomato sauce and some other little vegetables that are in there. So this is what pasta sauce, it turns to like a leather. And this is what it turns like. So this is a jar of, I don't know, whatever kind of pasta sauce we decided to dehydrate. And it turns into that. And yeah, super easy. I'll put it in some water here. And I'll put these vegetables in as well. Here are the vegetables. There's, um, what do we got in this one? I think those are maybe peppers and onions and uh, um, red peppers. Yeah, green peppers, onions, and uh, red peppers. So we'll put those in. in there, and you'll be amazed at how fast this comes. If you've never done this before, you'll be amazed at how fast it rehydrates. It's like a few seconds, and it's, and it's rehydrated. So I'll show you. Here it is. Probably could have used a little more water on the sauce, but whatever. That'll do. Good morning. Today we are heading to Macintosh Lake and uh, just two portages should be a nice, well, should be a fairly light day as long as it doesn't get too hot. And we're gonna get moving here in a few minutes and just making our breakfast. Oh, that looks good. Nice work, baby. Thanks. Your coffee. Here we go. Trolling along here, we're just past Big Trout Lake into the next lake. And do you remember what it's called, babe? Uh, she said it's White Trout. White Trout, maybe? Yeah. I have to check the map. I think it's White Trout, but beautiful here. Big cliffs. And. Uh, yeah, we're trolling around. I got a, what do I have? I got a deep diving tail dancer on right now. And we'll see if I can pull up a lake trout. I think I had a bite on big trout, but nothing yet. Nothing into the boat anyways. So it's about uh, 11 o'clock right now. Uh, and I just want to show you where we went. So we camped, where were we? Oh, we were right here. So we camped right there and we paddled across Big Trout, down White Trout, and we are right here just having a bite to eat right now. So it's taking us a couple hours. We got a pretty strong headwind and not a, not a bad little campsite considering you're in kind of a swampy area. It's pretty, it's pretty decent around here. And this is our lunch. We've got the dogs that have stirred up some pine needles into our uh, salami and cheddar cheese wraps with a little bit of hot mustard and it's going to be good so we shouldn't be a whole lot longer and we'll be on Macintosh Creek and then two little portages or two decent portages I guess and then the Macintosh Lake for the night. Well we are in Grassy Bay for sure now uh, at the end of White Trout Lake and it just seems like it's just never ending creek travel on this trip we went through that otter slide creek which seems to take forever and now this takes you into mcintyre or mcintosh creek sorry and yeah it's it's slow going it's a bit of a slog especially fighting a 
uh, headwind the whole way, but we're making our way there. We're almost to the first portage. You need to whoa <laughs> 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 uh, I was literally gonna hop out there and then you started pulling it's okay could have just stayed there on my way to pull in your right come on you up good good boy Nice one. Killing it, Hugh. Lay down, buddy. Good boy. Come on, Lou. Come on, up. I know. Oh, good one. Okay, babe, hop in. Anything in your pockets? No. Nope. <laughs> Just a uh, lip You okay, baby? Yeah. Yeah? I'm thinking. Yeah, I kind of walked on the bank there for a minute. Anybody get out, Lou? Hey? We have made it to McIntosh Creek Portage, 745 meters. And how's the water, baby? This water? Yeah. Good. Good. It's kind of a, it's a pretty spot, isn't it? Yeah, nice little creek flowing in here. Obviously that would be the Macintosh Creek. <laughs> <laughs> but kind of nice. Very pretty. Bit of work to get through there. Not too bad though. Glad the water's warm. So we had a nice little wade up to our uh, our waist. Hey Hugo. Well, oh, here we go. 745. Let's do it. Nice work, Hugo. Huh? Pretty cool little bridge here. We've had a lot of beaver dams here. Yeah. You're gonna do this route? Know that there's lots of beaver dams. Know that you're getting your feet wet. Yeah, be prepared to get your feet wet. And if you're gonna bring big rubber boots like we did, you're gonna be hot. <laughs> so just if you wanna cook your feet, yeah. Then wear rubber boots. Yeah. We have made it to our camp on, what's the name of this lake, baby? McIntosh, right? Yeah. We're on McIntosh Lake. So we got one of the first couple campsites and we've actually stayed here before uh, with a couple of friends, Paul and Tracy. Uh, Paul, you might know from another video, he's the uh, proud owner of Lucky, Old Lucky. 
It's a premium fishing rod that only catches longer fish. So anyways, he's kind of famous on YouTube right now. You can look him up. <laughs> and so here's our campsite. We've got the tent set up. Looking good, lots of room. This is a Hilleberg tarp. It's a huge, it's a huge monstrosity of a tarp, but it's amazing. It's nice in buck season because you get, uh, it's kind of like a two-in-one. It's, it's a big buck shel bug shelter, basically, along with a huge dry area. And then we just put a couple ground sheets down, and it's really nice. You can cook in there if it's really bad out or, um, yeah, it's nice. With two dogs, it makes a big difference. We've got a nice little fire pit. Not that I don't think we're gonna have a fire tonight. Hey Lou. We're both pretty tired. How are you feeling, baby? I'm feeling much better after having a swim. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Ashley she was looking a little bit a little bit tired. A little bit she's a little bit grumpy. Just a tad, Just a tad bit grumpy, <laughs> but anyway, she's all good now. Let's go hang out at camp, have some fun. So yeah, we'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Putting the bug suit on, baby? Yeah, yeah, it's not that bad, but, um, you know, when you're still for long enough, it, they kind of gather a little bit, so. A little bug suit? Doesn't What's hurt, for... just to throw it on. Right on. What's for breakfast this morning? <laughs> well, just for a change. For a change? Are um, we mixing it up today? Uh, yeah, totally mixing it up with uh, some oatmeal and um, berries. Oh, yeah berries that we dehydrated ourselves and some mixed nuts and brown sugar very nice yeah. beautiful so we got another nice morning here <clears throat> it's uh it's maybe cooled off a little bit eh? yeah it's yeah. Yeah, yeah it's maybe nice. cooled off a little bit it's uh it's beautiful though and we had just had a little bit of rain just a little splatter for a few minutes and we are just uh well we've got pretty well everything packed up but the tent all our gear is packed up and ready to go and yeah we just have a few hours of paddling hour and a bit of portaging and we are we're back so or something and away we go there's the big staircase to start the portage nothing really motivates you to hammer out a portage like a million buzzing mosquitoes around your face it's even better when they get trapped inside your canoe Oof. oh holy Drop it, baby. Let her go. You know what? Why don't you just keep, keep going. you just keep going. You keep going all the way, okay? Okay. And, and then, then I'll come back and just meet me back here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you have a water with you? Yeah. You do? You. Yeah. I'll bring this one with me. Okay. You got bug dope with you? I don't know. I think you do. There should be some in each. Yeah. And then the only things Ooh. that are back there are. Uh oh, that thing was open. Oh, was it? Yeah. Backpack, fishing tackle, and the saw are the only things that are back there. Okay, I'll go so get that. Get the saw. Yep. Okay. okay. Yeah, there's about a kilometer to go. Okay. Come on, Lou. That is buggy. Whew. Okay. So Hashi's gonna take Hugo to the end. 
I'm gonna go back, grab that fishing tackle that I shouldn't have brought. Oh, seven mosquitoes on my hand there. So anyways, here we go. Okay, final load. Final load, Lou. Yeah, I know, you're about as excited as I am. You can see how when you're in the bush, I don't know why they make anything in blue. Because look at all the mosquitoes that are around. I don't know if it shows up really well, but blue like just attracts bugs like crazy. So never wear blue. I don't know why anything in the outdoors comes in navy blue because you're just asking to get eaten alive with it. So there you go. So Ashley, how was the portage from Ink? lake to tom thompson how was it oh it was just lovely yeah it was um you know it's not the hardest portage but it's it's fairly long yeah to i think it was 2300 yeah something like that um and it's just uh it was really humid so we were just sweating so much and it was incredibly buggy yeah it was buggy wasn't it yeah um really really glad to have that one done yeah it's kind of smooth sailing from here isn't it yeah and it you know it's nice i, mean, I love i love a sunny day but it's really nice to have a break from the sun today because it's really cool things off yep i'm with um, you like it's better for us it's better for the dogs so yeah it's nice nice day good well nice work on the port top you too baby crushed it babe it. Just a beast. Put her in beast mode. Thank you very much. We just started. So we are on to Canoe Lake, which is the uh, final lake in the loop to complete it. We got about 4K back to the truck. And yeah, it's been, a, it's been a good trip. It's been a good trip. It's been like harder, I guess, than we thought. Yeah. From, yeah. It's been harder than we thought. Sometimes, you know, you think of Conquin, everything's marked, it's kind of laid out. Kind of make it a little bit easy on you, so you think your trip's going to be easy, but mm. it wasn't It wasn't overly easy. It was, it was a bit tricky. Not tricky, but just, it's a bit of a slog, wasn't it? Well, I, think, I think a big part of that was the, the weather. The yeah. Hot, really hot weather. Yeah, as she's saying, I don't know if it's... The audio will show up, but she's just saying that it's just the weather's just been super hot, so it just kind of just zaps you, right? You're pretty well toast. Mm. You just don't really want to go over another beaver dam. You don't really want to get to camp and then have to set everything up. And but all in all, it's been a good first trip of the season. Nice way to kind of get into it, right? Get back into the rhythm. We're gonna head up. Lake Superior Provincial Park, I think next. So that'll be our next uh, next trip, next video, and I'm really looking forward to it. We've been wanting to do we've been wanting to do Superior for a while, and with COVID, it's uh, you can't leave the province right now. Or well, you can, but it's probably not the best thing to do. So we're gonna play local this summer. So Lake Superior, here we come. 